Today, we're looking at nice things that Grant owns. Now, before I got a job, the only way I could make money was by selling things on eBay. This was before eBay went completely loopy and charged unrealistic final value fees. This meant that in those days you could actually make profit. And so it was uh, unfortunate that a lot of the time I had to sell my ch I mean, these wonderful possessions because I was just so poor and I needed the money. And so a lot of these wonderful Doctor Who action figures got sold. And of course you can't really get them again because once, they, once they've been there and had their time, they become extremely rare and then uh, it's very hard to get them at a cheap price. In fact, impossible probably. And so in this video, I'm just going to show you a couple of the nice things that I have. So we start off in this room. This is my room where I do all my computer work and stuff. And we have my collection of uh, horror films. They have a kind of classic horror films, you know. Not many, but a few. And uh, we have this John Pertwee Moon Boots and Dinner Suits book, which I haven't actually read yet. And we have my wonderful Chucky figure, which I really adore. Because, you know, the Chucky films, you know, Charles Play films, are one of my favourites in the horror series. So... Um, I really, really wanted this action figure to show how much uh, I really like the films. And that's what I do a lot, really. You know, if I like something, I want to show how much I like it by, you know, some sort of action figure or some sort of display. Then we come over to my uh, small collection of Big Finish CDs. I don't have many of them because I feel like Big Finish often starts off quite well in a story and then goes completely and utterly absurd. Um, and that's why I don't really often like many of them. But I did like The Grey Man of the Mountain, which I thought was a very good one. Uh, and The Bride of Peladon was another really excellent story. So I get the best. And then I got my My Family, which is very colourful, which is why I keep it there, because it's very colourful and bright. I think some people get a bit uh, confused when they come to my flat, because they think, why have I got two freezers in my room? Uh, and this is because, you know, there's nowhere else in the flat to put two freezers. And so they end up in my room, because this originally was a spare room, and after years uh, of uh, moaning about it, I finally got my partner to agree to uh, get rid of the bed and let me have it as a sort of uh, operations room. Then just above my computer, we have uh, my two prints, my John Pertweet, uh, my John Pertweet era uh, print and my Tom Baker era print, which I got uh, for my birthday one year. So just under my collection of curds, we come down and we have my uh, Five Doctors uh, display. I haven't got Patrick Troughton because, you know, as I say, these figures come out and then they become rare. And then the, you know, the price you pay for them is just far too much. So uh, that's why I don't have Patrick Troughton. But I got this uh, set for Christmas um, and it was one of the things I was really looking forward to. I said, oh, if I don't get it, I'm going to be really sad. Um, yeah, that's quite nice. One day maybe I'll get Patrick Troughton, but it's unlikely unless they re-release it. And down here in this messy shelf, we have uh, my collection of um, lost Doctor Who stories that have been animated or, or just lost. And of course, I got this, I think, from um, Madeira, yes, of um, Jesus on the Cross. Then we come into the lounge, and here we have my collection of, uh, which I'm very proud of, my collection of Game of Thrones figures which you can't really collect all of them because some of them, are, the faces are so obscure that they don't really look like the characters at all and that's why I only have these five uh, because either I, did, I couldn't afford the rest of them or that the faces were just awful because you'd expect me to have something like Tyrion Lannister but Tyrion Lannister, I could never find one that looked really like him and so I'm st I've just got these five, my favourites really because you've got uh, Joffrey, who was my absolute favourite in Game of Thrones, and um, Thingy at the back there, um, I can't remember what his name is, and we have Rob Stark, of course, and um, Varys, and uh, Holdor. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to remember because I haven't seen the series for quite a long time. And uh, here we have some bits and bobs which my partner put there because of his mother. And then we come slightly this way to the most recent addition to my flat, which is uh, the Mervellans. The Mervellans are one of my favourite Doctor Who uh, monsters because I just I think the guns are really cool and they speak wonderfully and uh, I just I just like them. They're really great. I did have two custom Mervellan figures made 
Um, but I don't think they're going to blend in with these ones because I think these are slightly smaller. I absolutely hate the guns on, on these because the guns themselves are fine, but the, the way that you can't really position them so that the guns look realistic. Because if I stick this one up, you know, she doesn't really look like, you know, she's, well, that's not too bad, I suppose. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. Ooh, they're all going. They've all had a bit too much uh, Scar and Sherry. Uh, and then behind them, of course, we have the Suicide Dalek, which is a really great addition because to get a Suicide Dalek, I mean, they must be super, super rare. So to re-release them is a really good idea because people, you know, who don't have them anymore can, uh, can get some Suicide Daleks. I noticed on the box they don't use the term Suicide Dalek because in this day and age of complete stupidness, um, people think that that's perhaps a t too, too strong a phrase. So they put something like Daleks with bombs, which is not as exciting as the phrase suicide Dalek. Yeah, I think these are going gonna, gonna to look wonderful when I reposition them and make them look nice. Yeah. Me lovely novellans. And then down here at the bottom, uh, I've got my The Collection box sets. A couple of them are not there at the moment because I'm working on a side project um, where I'm taking the old commentaries on the, you know, from the DVDs and uh, taking out the best bits and, and putting them into small videos on YouTube. So, so people don't have to watch the entire DVD commentary because I've compressed it to just the best bits. And down here we have my wobble machine, which I call it, sort of G-force machine, which I use to uh, get fit. And uh, it has all these wine bottles and things around it because my neighbours complain about how noisy it is. So it's protected from two sides. Uh, with these sort of soundproof matte things, which uh, hopefully uh, don't get, uh, hopefully suppresses the noise enough so that people don't moan. And up here we have my whiteboard, so I can uh, keep track of all of how many wobbles I'm doing in a day. At the moment, I'm uh, I'm on 19. And of course, the nicest thing in my house is my little Annabelle.